We have our second Q&A session coming up after the break. There's some great questions here. You're going to want to stay tuned for this. Live Lean TV. I'm your host Brad Gothrow. This is our second Q&A session on Live Lean TV. This is where I take your viewer questions and I will answer them for you on camera as much as I possibly can. Today's questions. Number one, Brad, how do you fight your cravings for more food? Simple answer to that is I eat more food. But when I say food, I'm talking about real, whole food food that is full of nutrients and fiber and everything else that's actually going to keep you fuller longer. When you eat the food that is void of all nutrition, like the white flours, the white sugars, it just throws your blood sugar levels all over the place and it's not filling you up whatsoever. That's what we call empty calories. It's not doing anything for you except for throwing your hormone levels all over the place and adding to that fat. So you want to stay away from that food. You want to eat whole foods. And people often ask me, do I count calories? When I first got into the game, I did count calories because I think it's very important that you need to understand the value of a calorie and where your calories are coming from. So if I take a look at a chicken breast or a tablespoon of almond butter or fruit, I can tell you how much calories is in it. I could probably tell you how much fat, protein, and carbs is in it. So I had that education. But now, I don't need to count calories because I know what my body needs, I know the energy that I require, and I know how to burn it off. But here's one of my tips, and I posted it on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing a lot of tips that I give out. Here is what I have when I have a late night snack craving. I will go to the fridge, I'll grab a tablespoon of almond butter, and I'll have a hot green tea. It may not sound very soothing, but the almond butter is very satiating and it's delicious. I absolutely love almond butter. Almond butter doesn't stay in my kitchen very long because I attack it. And then the green tea, I don't know what it is about green tea, it's just the soothing effect of something hot going into your body. It just makes you feel calm and satiated because most times at night, you're really not that hungry, you're just maybe a little bit bored. Question number two, and I got this question a lot. I was just wondering if you knew much about this intermittent fasting thing and what your opinion was on it. I actually did fast for one day before and I absolutely found it torturous. I love food. So first of all, intermittent fasting is just a tool. What you guys need to do is you need to find something that works for you and it works within your lifestyle. So whether it's six small meals a day, whether it's fasting, at the end of the day it's about calories in and then burning those calories back out again. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're going to burn fat. If you're in a calorie surplus, you're going to add more mass. So intermittent fasting, if you don't know what that is, there's many different forms of it. So there's the 16-8 approach, which essentially means that you're fasting for 16 hours of the day, and then you have a feed period of eight hours where you refuel your body for those eight hours. So it may be you are fasting from eight o'clock at night all the way until 12 o'clock the next day, so 12 o'clock in the afternoon the next day, then from 12 to 8 that day, that's when you feed yourself real food. That's, that's one approach. The whole idea is to really bring your glucose levels back in line, which like I always say, control your blood sugar levels, control your hormones, and you will live the lean lifestyle. But you have to find what works for you. I can't tell you if it's going to work for you or not. If you have a lifestyle where you're always on the go, it might work for you because maybe the six meals a day doesn't work for you. Just make sure you're not going over your calorie maintenance level because like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about calories in, calories out. Next question. I'd love to hear your thoughts on tofu, good or bad and why. Here's what I'm going to tell you about tofu. Tofu is one of those foods that is highly refined. You don't see tofu growing out of the ground. It's something that is processed in a manufacturing facility and I tell you what, it's not your best source of protein. There's many arguments on tofu, on it has estrogenic properties where it can throw off your hormonal balance level of your estrogen to your testosterone and many other things. A, I don't like the taste of tofu. B, I like to stick, like I said, to whole foods and tofu is not a whole food. I would say if you like eating tofu, just try to eat it in moderation. But if you don't like it or if you haven't had it yet, maybe don't go there. Stick with real whole foods. Next question, moving on. Have you heard anything of 
resveratrol supplement. I'm sure this person probably heard somebody on TV talk about this supplement being the be all end all. So if you don't know what resveratrol is, it's actually an antioxidant that can help fight the oxidative stress that you bring into your body. So if you add more antioxidants into your diet via food, and you can get resveratrol naturally from grapes, it's in the grape skin. What I've read, studies have been done on mice, and then studies were done on some humans, and what they found in mice was not the same as what they found in humans. So there's still a lot more research to go. Personally, I would say don't waste your money on it yet. Focus spending your money on real food. Nature's medicine, real food. Next question is, can you make a video on a quick and easy, healthy, high protein snack for people on the go? Well, I already got your back on this one. I shot this video, I don't know if it was this week or last week, but you can click right here to see a healthy snack recipe on the go. Also, I'm gonna put up my playlist. Where should I put that? I'll put that right here where you can see all of my recipes from my Brad's cookbook video. I'll fit one more question in here. Brad, we all see on TV how Subway has all these good subs, but like all foods, it's what we add to them that makes them less healthy, i.e. ranch dressing. So can you maybe answer if you have a favorite sub and what add-ons would you recommend we stay away from? Great question, and I answered this in a video last week, I think, in my Subway video. So once again, click here to see that Subway video. Hopefully you're enjoying this segment. It allows me to connect with you guys a little bit more and answer your questions directly on camera rather than me writing them down. So if you like this video, please click that like button right down there. Share and subscribe to videos up here. And of course, leave a comment. We're gonna be back again on Friday with Freestyle Friday. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.